Good afternoon, everybody from Starkey Farmstead. It is a beautiful Sunday, a bit humid, and we're expecting some more rain later this afternoon. But I just wanted to come to you before I go out there and get all sweaty and get humid hair like I normally do. Just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about ourselves and what prompted us to start making videos. Steven and I are owners of Starkey Farmstead. We are lo located in Greensburg, Louisiana. That is in St. Helena Parish. We are currently working on a scholarship program. We were scholarshiped in to a program with Canty Build of Dreams and Miss Donna Isaacs. She wrote a grant. She is a recipient of that grant from the USDA, NRCS, CIG, I think it is. And uh, it's a three-year program. The, the point of it is organic, regenerative, no-till market gardens. So that's what's all this, what all this is about. What you guys keep hearing me talk about, my dad's always here helping me do. It's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. Uh, my husband and I had a vision from God to be debt-free, to homestead our property, and to become self-reliant and sustainable two and a half years ago. This has been a work in progress. We do do tours here at the farm for any age group on any system that we do. We're working to ensure a closed loop system. What that means is we take the rabbit manure from the rabbits and we fertilize the garden. We take the food from the garden, we feed ourselves. We then in turn, some of it is fed back to the rabbits, to the chickens, also to the dogs and to the worms. Now. The red wigglers are unique in themselves because they make our worm castings here, which is a soil amendment and in my opinion, a fertilizer. It also It is also a huge part of my foliar spray system and our chickens do all of our composting. So we are about working smarter, not harder on two acres right here in St. Helena Parish. That's a little bit about ourselves. We are Christians. Um, we are thankful for God's redemption and his healing and he is merciful for eternity and we're thankful for that so you guys have a blessed day i hope this gives you a little bit more of insight into who we are what we're doing while we're making the videos the videos are, are mainly because papa sammy told us that we needed to document everything that we're doing here and we're doing it debt free and he said because there are so many people out there feeling the same press to get to where we are and I just want to encourage you. It takes time, guys. That's why we're always, always saying one new animal to your property in a year, not five animals in one month or even in one weekend. The, um, the cost of that, I can't even imagine that if, if you're raising your own food and that meat costs you five times what it costs to get out of the uh, market, you're doing something wrong. You're doing something wrong. I'm not judging you. I'm encouraging you, admit that you were doing something wrong. Take a step back, look at what you have available to you. I have two acres, a quarter acre of that is a market garden, a quarter acre of that is a pond, and then we have our house and our shop. That's at least another quarter acre. So three quarters of my two acres is taken up automatically. I'm not going to add a cow or a horse on that other quarter in a bit. It's not enough, it's not enough land. You, you can't move that around. That's, you're gonna have to, to feed out of bags and somebody else's hay to sustain your animal, which is gonna be astronomical in cost. And it's not healthy for any animal to stand in its own poop. So uh, you need to think through that. I know that we get a little bit of land, we get all excited and we're like, I'm gonna get goats, I'm gonna get ducks, I'm gonna get chickens, I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna get that. You need different housing for most of that. You have to learn their breeding schedules. So here's my thing, slow and steady, guys, slow and steady. Uh, we're not in a race. <laughs> you're only competing against yourself. And the only way to, to actually be able to tell if you're gonna pass that test is if, and I do say if, because the Bible tells us that we will have night and day seasons. We will have cold and hot. We will have food and water traded and passed around until Jesus comes back to get us. So. Let's not even talk about the end of the world right now. All I'm saying is if things get that bad, 
The only way that you're gonna know if you pass this test is how well you do when it's test time. And if you're having to buy bagged food for every animal on your property, if your vehicle is piled down once a week with 70 bags of feed, like, how are you gonna sustain that? Especially if you're small acreage, if you are small acreage. I mean, I get it. If you're generating income from other areas and then you're still bag feeding because you have a thousand animals that y'all, I'm not talking about people like that. So let's not start splitting hairs. I'm talking about people with one to 10 acres, one to 20 acres, a quarter acre to 20 acres. If you're small acreage and your feed bill is several hundred dollars a month, you, you need to reevaluate the animals on your property. If your input costs are so great that you're putting things on a credit card and you can't have anything in your life that's, you know, what I, you just know what I'm saying. You know, you know who you are. Just nod your head. Yes, I'm talking to you. Reevaluate re what you're doing. You can do this debt free because the Bible tells us that we are lenders, not borrowers. We are the head and not the tail. You may have gotten things out of order. That happens. That happens. I got things out of order at one time. I do it all the time. Be honest. I have to stop, take a deep breath, be like, okay, God, I, I repent. Got this out of order. I didn't ask you before I did it. I go tell my husband I need help. We reevaluate. Reevaluate. All right. It's okay. That is life. If you're doing that every day in your life, you're actually, in my opinion, growing faster as a person and a Christian than if you just sat there going, no, I can make this work. I can make this work. Sometimes you cannot make it work. So all I'm asking you guys to do is reevaluate, put down on paper what your vision God gave you happens to be and be blessed. Go out there, prosper guys. God told Adam and Eve, go and multiply. He didn't necessarily mean just children. He meant in everything that you do, everything that your hands touch will prosper and multiply. So you go be blessed. I need to go pick some squash. We had somebody called us for some here a minute ago. Praise Jesus. And then I have to get ready for church again. So you guys have a God-blessed Sunday. Bye.